Celebrating 15 years of Young Turks. Hello and welcome to Young Turks, India's longest running show on startups and entrepreneurship. I'm Shireen Bhan. On the show today, we put the spotlight on startups that are building deep technologies that sit at the back end of an app or an enterprise to get things done. Let's take a look at the startups that we have lined up for you on the show today. Tone Tag, a technology that uses sound waves to enable payments. Hypertrack, an API for developers to build live location features into their apps. Spherical Defense, a deep learning tool that's changing the way banks are defending themselves against hacks. Let's start the show with the story of Bangalore-based Tone Tag, founded by Kumar Abhishek in September of 2013. Tone Tag is a technology that uses sound waves emitted by electronic devices to enable payments. You heard that right, sound waves, so there's no exchanging of numbers or scanning QR codes or swiping cards. And this is a feature that works even on good old feature phones. Payments is only the first use case for this globally patented technology. The venture has its eyes on transforming the entire retail shopping experience. So here's a look at Kumar's startup story and a glimpse into the future with Tone Tag. 35-year-old Kumar Abhishek was in Singapore on a stint with Finical, a banking product developed by Infosys, when a colleague who had returned from India asked why he often was handed over candies instead of money change at the end of a transaction. An innocent enough question, but one that got Kumar thinking about the dissonance in the payment space. I thought, you know, uh, I need to look uh, for solutions around this. Uh, I started doing my research and figured out that uh, certainly mobile payments is the solution around it. For eight months, uh, we went to every corner, I would say, in terms of landscape, if you talk about rural, semi-urban, urban, right? Uh, and we uh, tried to, you know, uh, create multiple product prototypes to solve this problem. And the one that finally passed master was the technology that enabled contactless payments using sound waves emitted from electronic devices. What do we mean by this? Let's give you a demo. So you've walked into a takeaway restaurant, placed your order and realized that you're not carrying your wallet. Well, you have your phone and that should be good enough because you can ideally use one of your payment wallets but say Wi-Fi or signal is poor. What now? You can use the tone tag feature embedded in the wallet or banking app to make the payment. Here's how it works. All electronic devices emit sound waves. The tone tag software algorithm encodes data into sound waves, which can be transmitted using a basic speaker. The only requirement is the integration of the tone tag proprietary SDK on the merchant's point of sale device or phone, and on customer's side, it must run in her mobile banking, wallet, or payment app in the background. The challenge comes when you want to make this technology work on every device, right? And that's where our patent solves this, wherein even devices which don't have capability to generate sound, uh, you know, we kind of work, our, our, our algorithms work and use or shifts uh, to use certain other components available in those devices to create a similar waveform which, uh, you know, uh, consumer devices, which is uh, the microphone of uh, the mobile devices can understand. Today, ToneTag has partnered with 18 clients that include telcos like Airtel, banks like ICICI Pocket and Yes Bank, wallets like Freecharge and MobiQuick, retailers like Shopperstop, and even toll plazas and parking operators. The venture claims that partners have reported a 4.2 times improvement on overall transactions compared to prevailing methods that use OTPs or QR codes. And this without how you spent on consumer adoption. Tontag presently charges the license fee for the product to payment instrument issuers while merchants are charged a fee on every additional transaction Tontag brings in. But the moot question for anything related even remotely with payments is security. When you swipe your card, for example, the encryption gets applied once the card is uh, you know, swiped against a terminal. But if somebody puts some skimmer before it you know, gets encrypted, then there's a chance of your data getting lost. But with tone tag, even before the data leaves, leaves a customer device or a merchant device, 
uh, it, it goes through encryption, right? So anybody who even tries to hack, what he gets is encrypted data, right? And the decryption keys uh, resist, uh, you know, resides with the bank or the wallet partners. Hence, it is end-to-end, -end, you know, encrypted and highly secure. Remember this Amazon store that went viral? Well, the team at ToneTag is working on creating a platform like this, perhaps steeper for retail chain Shopper Stop in India. You can literally have experience wherein you enter a shop, you pick a product and you walk out, right? And uh, uh, the payment uh, could be just handled. Another interesting thing is you went to a showroom, right? You pick the product, right? And you bring your phone next to it and suddenly you will uh, see the entire video of that product on your phone, right? And your phone doesn't need to switch on any Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or any pairing, right? Because uh, on, on your phone, if there is any app which has got tone tag inside it, it can listen and tell you and show you that content. Some pilots have already rolled out and a formal, fully integrated launch is scheduled for later this year. Also by the end of this year, the team believes on the payment side, Tontag technology will reach 100 million consumers and half million merchant terminals. Well, maybe it's Tone Tag that's going to put the excitement back into offline shopping, at least for me. It's time now for us to take a break, but when we return, meet serial entrepreneur Kashyap Diora, who's building HyperTrack, an API for developers to build live location features into their apps. Stay tuned to find out more. Celebrating 15 years of Young Turks.